All right, so we're using our GDC and we're going to solve this particular equation. And using our GDC is a really important thing to be really efficient with solving things and using our calculator to do it when algebra lets us down. Okay, so we're solving equations here with our GDC. Um, but we're going to do it because it's more efficient when algebra will let us down. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do for this particular problem is I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this side here y1 and this side here y2. So I go to my calculator, I've already got them entered, and I hit my graph window. And what I want to find is I want to find these particular points of intersection. If I find the intersection points here, then I have found my solutions. So to do it, I go second trace, which is our calculate menu, and I'm going to go to number five here, which is intersect. It's asking me for the first curve, and I notice on Y1, it's referring to this curve, which is one of the curves that I'm looking for the intersection, so I hit enter. The other curve it's on now is the second curve, and it's asking for the second curve. And we only need this if we have more than two curves on it. We want to find which one's between the curves. So I hit enter. And now it's asking for a guess. Well, this point looks like about negative one, so I'm going to guess x is negative one. And indeed, I get the value of this point here. My intersection is x equals negative 1.24 to three significant figures. Oh, let me put it in the right spot here, up here, one point negative 1.24. Similarly, we do the same thing again for the other point of intersection. We go second trace, intersect is number five, first curve, second curve, and I know that value here is at about two, and enter, and I get 2.2. And so this intersection point here, this x is equal to 2.21. So this is using our GDC to solve an algebraic equation.